We have over 100 National Guard members that are being deployed specifically to Pine Island. And I'm proud to tell you, with the assistance of our great Governor Ron DeSantis, as of this morning at 0700 hours, we are working with FDOT to begin the construction of a temporary gravel bridge to get people on and off the island. And also the best way to help is try to keep the roadways clean, try to stay off the roadways if possible because we need everything. We're running lights and sirens to get to different missions and the quicker we can get to these missions and move forward, the quicker we can recover. So we've had three different cases of looting and I will tell you it was very swift. We, we are not tolerating that at all. Uh, and, and I want to one, say that we've, we've ended that by arrest uh, and two, Two, I mention it because I want to really educate those people. You know, I call them undesirables, the people that, you know, they, they thrive on going after people when they're down. Well, I can tell you in this county, not from the air, not from the sea, and not from anywhere, okay? We have law and order here, and I stand with my residents firm with law and order, and specifically... You go into someone's house who just got hit by a catastrophic hurricane, who have, who have belongings and pictures and things that are irreplaceable, okay? You don't get to take advantage of great people. That 0.1%, you go in that house, you're going to be carried out. The death toll is up to 54. That's 54 more than I ever want to talk about here. But we are making progress every single day here every single day. While it might not look like it when you see a 100-foot yacht thrown in the mangroves, there's still tons of cleanup, and I'm not minimizing that, but we are making progress every day. So we got that message out at the right time. Now, whether people listen to it, we can't force people out of their homes, but we can continuously say, look, mandatory evacuation, you know, and some people have family that live across the East Coast. Okay, those family members came here because they said, oh, the storm's going to go hit Tampa. It's going to go. They all came here, and Mother Nature taught us a lesson. It's unpredictable, but I'm confident, confident in the decisions that were made. And like I said yesterday, stand by them, and I wouldn't change anything. You walk into someone's house, and you try to prey on someone who just took a hit like this, I can guarantee you, as the sheriff, you will walk in. You will be carried out. I ain't playing.